Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel to a very exciting video that has been six months in the making. I'm so excited to finally share my full review of completing the puzzle. And this is something that I started back in March as a St. Patrick's Day email came into my inbox and they were discussing that they had a new four puzzle bundle and that's what sparked my interest. So I purchased my own six month membership. If you guys are part of the Patreon family, you already knew that this was coming because I told you guys back in March and I showed you that first unboxing of the subscription and since then I've been using it every single month I get four puzzles sent to my doorstep every single month based off of the wish list that I made and can I just say I've been loving it and I loved it so much that I reached out to them to see if they want to sponsor a video for me because it was going to be a nice review for them and they decided to agree. So this video is sponsored by completing the puzzle, but I do want to let you know that it doesn't hinder my experience whatsoever because I reached out to them because I knew I liked it and I wanted to work with them. So I'm excited to share with you what the subscription is and specifically the four puzzle bundle. So when you're traditionally using completing the puzzle, it is a one in one out style of subscription so think of it as an old time Netflix subscription when you had DVDs I feel like I'm aging myself in this but where you would get a puzzle in the mail you'll do it at your own pace and then when they receive the original puzzle they'll send you a new one and you can just repeat this over and over and you can get as many puzzles as you can fit in that window that you can so for me I really like the idea of the four puzzle bundle because I get four puzzles every single month and I can do them for say three weeks send it back and then a new one comes in and I feel like I'm getting way more time with the puzzling versus waiting on the shipping so I've been using this subscription since March I'll show you some of the puzzles that I have done within the subscription. I'll also share with you what's in this month's box and we'll do a little puzzling together so you guys can see the quality of the puzzles that I received. And in general, I've been really enjoying it. If you're interested in signing up, I'll link some things down below. One is a link to get the four puzzle bundle because it actually isn't normally on their website, but they did give me the link to share with you guys. And then I also have the original link if you wanna sign up for their more traditional month to month subscription. So, Let's just get into the pros and cons. But first up, let's talk about the design of the shipping package. I really like this because it's reusable. When it comes to me, I never have issues with it being open or anything. And when you're done with your puzzles, you just ship it back with the label that they include. Um, everything's sturdy, everything has always come pristine. I also like that they do have the instructions here, so they don't even have like other inserts inside. Like everything seems really sustainable and eco-conscious. I love the fact that you can just reuse this over and over again. And it's been great. It's been super easy to ship things back and it's a really quick shipping time as well from me to them so when I ship this back to the when I get a new one is around five days that's what I've been averaging for the past six months next up let's talk about the variety of brands and puzzles they have so many to choose from I think they have over 1300 different designs that you can choose from and there's a ton of different brands and some really expensive brands like one month I actually had two Tanya Wix puzzles which if you are in the US they're normally around 38 40 dollars per puzzle so to be able to rent them is amazing because I'm someone who doesn't redo puzzles or very seldom do I read puzzles and so for me to spend $40 on a puzzle I'll do maybe once is kind of hard for me to justify but renting it is great because I can still experience the puzzle and get the content that I need since I'm a content creator and still enjoy it so it was awesome to have two Tanya Wicks puzzles in one of my bags they also have other brands too like New York Puzzle Company they have Minty Fizz they've unified pieces like some new popular fun brands that you may have been wanting to try and they have so many options they also have some more traditional brands as well like Ravensburger Buffalo Games Masterpieces but I've always treated the subscription as trying to find new brands that I haven't tried before or brands that are kind of out of my price range ones that I know that I would get like my money's worth because I won't necessarily find them in a thrift store or at a swap or it'd be kind of pricey even to like buy them secondhand online so I love that I'm able to try like really expensive brands another pro is that I love that this is a very personalized subscription when you sign up you have a little quiz so if you wanted more of a surprise element to the subscription you can use the quiz to give suggestions on what type of piece count that you want and the style of puzzles that you are interested in and that way they can 
curate the puzzles to what you want. But for me, I love the aspect that I can also make a wish list and every single puzzle that I've received has been ones that I've put on my wish list. So I'm not surprised. I know I'm getting puzzles that I would want to do. But I do like that the fact that even if you did a quiz, you can change it up whenever you want to. So I, even though my subscription is set to, I think 500 to 750 pieces, I can do higher or lower, it doesn't really matter. I just put whatever I'm interested in on my wish list and it's been great to just receive them whenever the bag comes in. And as far as the quality of the puzzles that have come, they've all been in great condition. There's been a couple times where there's been, you can see that it's been done a few times and that's fine. Like it still has all the pieces, still a great experience, but I have seen a couple that had just had a little bit of wear, but in general, the puzzles have been in great condition and especially some of the, like the really expensive ones, I had no issues whatsoever. They looked brand new and it was great. As far as any cons or things that I would just suggest to them, first up, I would love a way, and maybe there is a way and I just have missed it but to get like a rating card or a way for you once you're done with the puzzle to rate the puzzles that you've done not necessarily whether or not they're a good puzzle but about the quality of the puzzle and whether or not it's still in good condition like if for some reason someone was missing a piece or I had a couple that they seemed like they were at the end of their lifespan I would love a way for me to just give them a little note to let them know so that way they can take it out of the rotation and you just know that the puzzles that are coming to you are rated from other puzzlers that have done them and they're still in good condition. I also kind of wish there's a way for me to prioritize certain puzzles over others. Like I have my wish list, but it's all just kind of all together. I would love to be able to have like, like my top five picks at the top so that way they know like those are the ones I'm gonna do next if they're available of course because that would be great because sometimes I have like a video concept in mind and I'm like oh this puzzle would be great for it but it doesn't come or maybe there are puzzles that it wasn't quite ready for or there's been a couple times where I put thousand piece puzzles on there because I love the images but I don't necessarily want four 1000 piece puzzles in a single box because I won't have time for that. So I would love a way to prioritize certain puzzles in my wish list over others. And maybe that's me taking things out. I don't know, but I think that would be a great idea. Now, other than that, I really don't have anything negative to say about the subscription. Again, I reached out to them because I have been loving it for the past six months. I'll put on the screen some of the ones that I have done. There's been some amazing brands. I've done some really fun puzzles and I thought you'd like to see what I got in this month's package. I also have three puzzles that I've already done. Now we're going to go back in time and I'm going to show you what this package looks like when it first arrives. So that way you guys can see all the puzzles and my excitement about doing the puzzles. Um, and in and when we come back, we'll just do some final thoughts. Let's see. First up, we have, not gonna show you, but we have the shipping label. For the reusable packages, you just take out the old one, put the new one in the sleeve, and then zip it back up, and it's been completely fine. So I have my shipping label right here, and then we have the puzzles. So something is very bright and colorful through the packaging. So we have four, one, two, three, four puzzles, and they look like they are all 500 pieces, which is perfect because I'm going to be doing some speed puzzling. And let's just take a look at the images. Okay, oh my gosh, there's some, there's some fun ones. Okay, this one here I know is on my wish list. So this first one is called Attic Hideaway. It is from the brand Playful Pastimes, and I have never tried this brand before, so I'm excited about it because I do like using the subscription for new brands that I can't find in person. So this one here looks really fun, and I feel like very doable for a speed puzzling practice because you have to like larger blocks of things, and it's not really chaotic. So this one, I think I'm going to like a lot. I've never again tried that brand. So this one I might wanna do on camera with you guys. And then we have this really fun, quirky puzzle. This one is called Lighten Up. It's again, 500 pieces. And this is a La Puz puzzle. Also have never done this brand, which I know a lot of people rave about them. So I'm excited to try this brand as well. And this image is a bunch of candles that are really interesting. We have like a bear. We have this little guy who's in a swimsuit. We have a banana, we have some eggs, we have a mushroom, and they're all just candles that are lit up, which is really fun. 
Next up, we have a puzzle that I've been eyeing for a while. This is from New York Puzzle Company. This one is called Seaside Cafe, and it is a Maine-based puzzle. You have a giant lobster in the sky is painting the sign, and that just like reminds me of home. And then, oh, I'm so excited. This one here is by Minty Fizz, and this is called Melded Blooms, which isn't that stunning? I have done one of her puzzles before, and so I'm very excited to do another one. And so those are the four puzzles that I got. We'll definitely do a couple in this video as speed practice. I'm definitely thinking I'm going to be doing this guy here, which will be so fun. So let's just get things situated, and we're gonna do some speed puzzling together, and I'm excited about it. So starting off with the Playful Pastimes puzzle, I was so excited to do this brand because I had never done it before, and the coloring of this puzzle is so fun, so bright. And since I was doing this puzzle as a speed round, I really didn't start with the border. I started off with some things that were very distinct, like the dartboard and the chair and the pillows and the little trinkets all around. And then I got to a point where I thought I would do the border next, but that ended up being a mistake because the border itself was kind of tricky. There was a lot of things that either fit together or were in the wrong place and it made it quite difficult and I spent way too long trying to figure the border out, which I think that was my mistake when I was doing the speed round. I should have just continued on with other things and then done the border last. And so I'm glad that I ended up renting this puzzle versus buying it new. Normally they are around $20 to $24 and I realized it wasn't my favorite as far as fit goes. Like I love the image, love the coloring and I did enjoy the experience but it was kind of frustrating at times because there's a lot of things that could easily be misplaced and so if I had bought it new I would have been disappointed but since I was able to rent it I wasn't too mad about it and I know that I would not have found this image or even this brand at a thrift store but in general I did end up finishing the puzzle just over the 90 minute mark and I really do think it was to that edge that had a lot of issues and I could have done some things differently. Next up we tried La Puzz and I was so excited to have this puzzle because I had never done this brand before and I've seen it all over on my Instagram. I knew this was going to be a hard puzzle to do as a speed run and I, to be honest I did not finish it in the 90 minutes either but I really enjoyed the pieces of this puzzle. The coloring was fun. I liked the crazy piece cut but that made it really challenging for speed puzzling but it's always good to try different brands when I'm trying to do some speed puzzling practice because it just gives me a way to think differently and I originally had all the pieces out on the puzzle board but since the pieces are a little bit larger I decided to put it on the sorting traits instead which just gave me more space to work and I like this image a lot as well as all the other images that they carry on the puzzle I feel like they're like quirky and different like there's all these different candles and they're all really weird I just loved the image and the pieces were so thick and chunky there were some that had a little bit of wear around the corners but I really didn't have too many issues with it I also like the piece cut it kind of reminds me of Springbok which looked like absolutely wild and crazy and in general I did really enjoy this puzzle definitely larger than a traditional 500 piece stand size puzzle but it was definitely a good experience to try something different and in the end I really like the image and this is another brand that I don't think I'd ever find secondhand in person so I was so excited that I was able to rent it And finally we had Melded Blooms by Minty Fizz and I had only done one other from this brand a long time ago and I kind of remember liking it so I was really excited to do another one. I follow Kelly on Instagram, we talk all the time. So it was really fun to do another one of her puzzles and I loved this image so much. 
so bright and colorful and it is kind of crazy colored like all the artwork is kind of just mixed together and it, you can kind of see different petals but it's also just like pure color and I didn't have this one as a speed run because I thought it was going to take me way longer than it did because once I looked back at the video I only took about 90 minutes so I think it would have been fine if I was trying to do a speed run but I ended up just enjoying just working with the color and I like the puzzle pieces. Yes, they all are twos, but it didn't bother me because there was plenty of stuff to work from and they were so thick. These are like the thickest pieces I've ever done and it was really fun to put together. So I love that I was able to rent this puzzle and not necessarily own it. And in general, I'm really impressed with all the small brands that they do carry. They have a huge range of puzzle brands, including this one, which is a small women-owned business. So it was really fun to try and do and I love the color and the end result is beautiful. All right, so I still have some of the puzzles on foam board and I do have the little cards here. And in general, I really liked this box this time around. I got all 500 pieces. I'm still going to be doing this guy here, which is a really fun New Yorker puzzle from New York Puzzle Company. It's just like screams main to me and it just makes me really happy. So I'll probably do that one evening while like watching TV. I really like trying new brands. So I love that I was able to try Playful Pastimes and La Puz. I have heard so many things about La Puz. I like their piece cut. They kind of remind me of Springbok a little bit. So I really like the piece cut, like the quirky image. It was really fun on a really good difficulty level. Like it wasn't super easy, but it wasn't hard either. I really liked the La Puz puzzle a lot and it definitely had a little bit of wear on the puzzle, but not too bad. It had a great fit and the quality of the puzzle pieces seemed really, really nice. The Playful Pastimes, I enjoyed the image a lot. I love how bright this was. A little shiny for speed puzzling practice and I definitely had issues with that. But I also think that the fit of this puzzle is a little bit looser in some areas, especially around the border. But in general, I love the coloring of this puzzle and it was a really fun image. So I'm glad that I was able to try this puzzle brand out without having to like pay for it full price. And then I really loved this puzzle by Minty Fizz. I've only done one other puzzle from her and it was years ago and I feel like I remember liking it, but I couldn't quite remember. So I love the fact that I was able to do another one of these puzzles and I actually talked to Kelly on occasion and it's just been really fun to get to know her and I love that I was able to do one of her puzzles again so this one was really great I love the quality the nice thick chunky pieces so this was a really fun one to do and I thought it was going to be harder than it was and it wasn't I liked it a lot it was super fun that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to give you a little bit of insight of what it's been like for the past six months doing the subscription it's been really fun to try a bunch of new brands bunch of new puzzles I love that it comes in the mail because oftentimes I forget what I even put on my wish list. So it's always a surprise when it comes and I get very excited about all the puzzles because they're ones that I originally wanted to do anyways. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and my review over completing the puzzle. I'm so excited that they were able to work with me on this video because I was loving them and I like when that type of thing works out. So, so thank you so much to completing the puzzle for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in them, I'll link them down below. Again, there's two separate links. One is going to be for the four puzzles bundle that I get. The other one is for their traditional subscription account. And so thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and all those good things if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.